Greetings. Welcome to the Kingdom Culture Center. Jesus' message was one. And his message was, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now you'll find that in Matthews. Matthews, the fourth chapter in the 17th. That's when he came out of the wilderness. And then, after he came from out of the wilderness, he went to Galilee and same message. Now I want you to get I want you to get this. When he hit the age 30, then he came on the scene. John really introduced him. He was the one that introduced him on the scene. And John had the same message. One mindset. One mindset. John had the same thing. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, I want you to understand, you have to understand the kingdom government, you have to understand its citizenship, not membership. As Jesus went on, the message that he had never changed. His message never changed. He preached and stayed with the message. And then, with his government, the kingdom government. He was not limited with the power of the Holy Spirit. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, the lame walked, the blind saw, the deaf heard. Woman was healed, of issue of blood, she had a period, he healed that. And it went on, he cast out devils. That was unlimited power. That's kingdom. That's kingdom. And when you have the Holy Spirit in your life, you may not have all these powers. He gives you, I can't say who, they, but he gives you power to overcome. You become overcomers. With the Holy Spirit residing in your mortal body, you become overcomers. You can choose what you want without being forced to do it. The devil will make you do it if you don't. If you don't, uh, if you're trying to do it on your own, you're trying to live this kingdom life on your own. You have no power. You can't go to church and live any kind of life, and then expect. The Lord Jesus to grant you the gift of the Holy Spirit because of your life. No. And by the way, stop talking about folk. Stop bad mouthing folk. Jesus said, if you got a problem with that, hey, and one writer said, pray. Pray without ceasing. In other words, constantly pray. There's times now I'm getting so in the morning now to just talk to the Father. I'm, I'm up, my wife says I don't go to sleep. She says you you only go to sleep for two uh, two hours and you get up. But I feel the need to talk to the Father. Do you know that when Jesus interact with the people, on many occasions he went and talked to the Father. That's what we and to get focused. To get focused, we need that. You need to take time. Take time and focus on God's Word. You know, there's so many things in social media and when you go out and you're driving and you listen, you know, you have to learn to get enough of this Word in you on a constant basis that it doesn't affect your way of thinking. If you get enough of God's Word in your life, you'll begin to detox yourself from the world system in religious osity. Now, I want to say something to you. Our website, www.kingdomcitizens.org, go to it. I write all the time. The Holy Spirit had me writing. And I think I do a better job of that than I do in talking because there's so much. I'm sitting here and I can't really, I'm used to walking around 
on the stage and talking. But in this in this in in, in this medium, you must learn this one thing. It's God's word that will last. Nothing else. It's his word. At the end, you'll be judged by this very word. That's why I stress to you, embrace the kingdom message. Embrace it. Because that's the only message that the Lord Jesus taught, preached. He teaches. Excuse me. Why? Because it's a restoring message. It restores you back to him. Us back to him. That's the message. He said, I didn't come to destroy, the, to condemn the world, but to save it. So our message is to be to redeem them back. Live a, a life that when people see you, wherever you are, they will respect you. They will wonder. Because the way, quote, unquote, these so-called Christians are today, forget about it. You know, everybody's not the same. Some people are really seeking. They call themselves Christian because they want to identify. No, it's the kingdom. It's the kingdom message. You're a kingdom citizen. And when you focus on that, you realize that this is your constitution and this is what you live by. Oh, yeah. You live by it. It becomes you. It starts out becoming a part of you. Then it becomes your lifestyle. Then it affects your behavior. The more you study it, the more you become it. The Holy Spirit, the more you embrace his word, God will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's power. You won't have to worry about being fearing about this or fear about dying or fear about getting robbed. Uh, I mean, see, those see, see, fear is your greatest enemy. It's one of your greatest enemies. And many people, they want to live because they don't know what they expect when they die. Well, if you live a kingdom life, you know your purpose. You ask God for your purpose. And your purpose is to spread the kingdom message. Live such a life. Doesn't mean you got to be a minister by no means. When I was growing up, that's, that's one of the things. You had to be a minister, and the preacher tell you this and that, and you thought, because the preacher said this, you was that. Uh, oh, you, you, God called you. Everybody giving you these false claims. All you have to do, study God's word. Allow him, the word, to transform you. Go about your daily life, and the Holy Spirit will guide you. Excuse me. He'll guide you. He'll strengthen you. You don't have to go get on a, get on a soapbox unless the Holy Spirit tells you to do that. But you live a life when you go on your job. And be yourself. But you live by a set of principles, set of rules that please the King, King Jesus. You live by those rules and you apply them to your life every day. Not when you feel like it, not when it's, it's applicable for you, not when somebody is looking at you. No. You apply them to your everyday life. Now, a lot of times, you know, your family may abandon you. They're not going to, you know, you go to my Facebook. I have two of them. <laughs> I had three, but uh, apparently Facebook didn't want me to have three. But if you Go to my Facebook. You'll see it's all about the kingdom message. Until he tells me to do something else, that's what it's about. I live it. I sleep it. I eat it. I write all, all these things. Because he's the one that's going to reward me. He's rewarding me now and at the end. And you have to be that light. Remember, a kingdom citizen is the salt of the earth, is the light of the world, is a city set upon a hill 
And you don't have to go and make yourself that. It will come to pass when you live his word. Until next time, remember, your faith in God's word is eternal in the kingdom. Until next time. Thank you.